What's happening people? Welcome to the United Stand. Don't worry, I am going to the game. I am going to the game. But you see these local games? See when you're a company red? We're all from this game, so it's alright. Normally I'll be on the way up to Old Trafford or wherever in the country we are playing, but the game is in London today at Wembley, the big one. So I can actually come, watch my cousin play his, play his game before I go to the game. That's what this that's what it's all about, you know? But listen, Tottenham man, this is the game. Um this is where we earn the gravy, this is where Oli earns his money, you know, the interim manager. Um, a lot been made of that we haven't played anyone difficult yet. Um, and that, uh, you know, how do we know if we're really back until we start playing some, some teams of, of some real quality? Well, that's Tottenham. Um, and today, look, there's, there's loads of different contrasts and opinions. For me, I just think it's a must, a must not lose game. A draw is not the end of the world. If you offer me a draw now, I would take it. Um, my prediction for the game is I think we'll win 2-1. It'll be a tight, cagey game. But I think it's more of a must-not-lose game. Like, don't get me wrong. I know to make the big statement, we want to be winning these games, and I get that. But if we just get a result, I think the key is to just not lose. I think there's a, there's, we're halfway through the season. There's like, what, 16, 17, 18, 19 games to go still in the Premier League? So there's a long way to go. Um, yes, it'll put down a massive statement, obviously, to win this game, which is even better than the draw. I get that 100%. But I'm not going to be walking out of Wembley um, completely gutted with a draw. Um, obviously, depending on the circumstances, if we were like 2 3 nil up, then yeah. But, you know, I would take a draw right now. I would take a draw. Obviously, we all want to win as Man United fans, but I think the most important thing with this game is to not lose. Um, look, if we can go there and show our attacking qualities, like Oli's promising that we're going to do, why can't we go in there? Even last year, we won in the semi final of the FA Cup. Come down from a goal, a goal down. Um, and and we, went, we went on to win the game, and that was under Jose. Um, look, Tottenham are a fantastic team. Um, but sometimes they're unpredictable as well. You know, Wolves went there and won their good football inside and they went there and played to their strengths. Why can't we do that? My only, my only concern about today's game is Phil Jones. Now, look, Phil Jones is going to have to have one of them one in 15 where he has a stormer today because the likes of um, Son, Ericsson, Ali, Kane, look, they're formidable. We know that. And if you allow them to play, they can cause anyone problems. We know that. They, they, they can score goals. And the biggest thing about Tottenham right now is even if they're not playing that well, the reason they've been slapping teams is because they've been clinical. Now, we can't afford to give them too many chances, um, especially from open play. For us, I think since Oli's come in, we know our problem has been in defence. That's true. But what I will say is that we don't concede as many chances from open play as we were doing before. Hence why we haven't conceded that many goals since Oli's come. You know, our biggest thing has been switching off and set pieces or switching off and four up. Today, we're going to have to be at it. And with Phil Jones there, that worries me. It always worries me when he plays. But look, he has to, he has to have a storm for us to have any chance. Um, but as for our attacking players and our midfield, look, I think that midfield three should be back. Obviously, Pogba and Matic Herrera has been phenomenal for us since Oli's come into the game. But it's that front three, man. For me, I think it should be Martial, um, Rashford and a toss-up between Alexis and Jesse. I think he'll almost certainly go with Jesse, given the game time as well and the fitness side of it. But, you know, that front three there is full of movement, it's full of pace. It's full of direct attacking play, and that's what we want to see in the midfield in there. With Pogba with a new lease of life, with, with Matic and Herrera shoring it up. We've got every chance, we've got every chance, you know? I don't see why we can't go and win this game. I really don't, but if we lose, which I don't want to think about, but if we lose, it's, I think a lot of Man United fans have said it's about the manner. Well, he's almost got like a free hit, you know? Um, in terms of, look, it's, it's, he's come in and he's steadied the ship and this is his first test. I don't think anyone will be turning on Oli if we don't win today. I think it's about the manner. So, look, to be fair, I don't really want to talk about losing because you know, we're in a positive thing. But, you know, like I said, if we were to lose, I think it'll be, you know, let's, let's go down and fight. So, you know, I think we've got everything in our armory to go and hurt Tottenham. Obviously, look at the players that we've got at our disposal. And now it's about going and seeing that. I think that the, 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 the team that he sets out, and, the, and the, the attitude from the players, you've been seeing that they had a whole week's preparation in Dubai and oli has been saying, feelings has been saying, Ken has been saying, they've all been saying in their interviews, they want the players to go and express themselves and I just believe that with the positivity that we've got going forward, our defence might not be our strong point, but if we go and play on the front foot, get the ball to the likes of Rashford in the channels, get the ball to Martial taking on um, Trippier. Yeah, if, he, if he's going to be on that side and, and on the other side get Jesse coming in off that side because look we know he doesn't keep width but he, he'll come in and make intelligent runs we'll find we'll find spaces we'll exploit Tottenham we will you know Tottenham are not the most amazing team in the league otherwise they'll be top you know so we got everything in our armory to go and hurt Tottenham and I fully expect us to do that 
I'm just excited. For the first time going into a big game, I'm excited. I've got like a bit of optimism. Um, I think that's half time here. Um, I've got a bit of optimism, to be honest with you, and that's how I see it. I see as if we go there and play how we've been playing and play with the confidence and think, do you know what? Yeah, they've got Ali, Son, Ericsson, Kane, etc. But like Oli keeps saying, look at the players we've got. Let's unleash these players and let's attack them. We've got a duty to go and do that. We've got a, um, a, a, a duty to the fans, a duty to the players, the badge to, to go and play attacking front foot football. And I think we will. And it's going to make for a great game. It's going to be tight. It's going to be cagey. I'm going for a 2-1 Man United win. I am. Um, but would I take a draw? If you offered me it now, I would shake your hand and take a draw 100%. I'm going to go for a positive 2-1 win. I'm going to go for a Pogba and Rashford um, as the scorers. Probably Harry Kane for them. And Phil Jones, man. Listen, Phil Jones, please don't piss about. Just just do your thing. Please, please, Phil Jones. Just one game. If you're going to choose a game to play well, make it be this game. Because like I said, Phil Jones is going to have to have one of them one in 15 games when he just turns up. This has got to be it because I don't want to see Lindelof having to carry him through the whole game. We saw what happened with Phil Jones was last at Wembley. He missed his header. I think he gets Harry Kane was, was behind after like 11 seconds. And then he went and scored an own goal shortly after and the game was done. So guys, that's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think in the boxes below. Like, share and subscribe. I will see you guys at the fan camps after the game. Hopefully, with a positive result. Latest.